Getting consoles is tough because when you buy them at launch, they're always exactly the same. They're stock, right? But uh, as the years go on, special edition ones start happening. And this year, even though it's only September, has actually been really cool for stuff like that. So we thought Max and I would take a look at some of our favorite pieces of video game hardware that came out this year. Uh, starting with the Final Fantasy 15 yeah, limited edition so PS4 Slim. This is uh, this is coming out of TGS. I think this is so far only announced for Japan. Do we know about that for sure? I think you might be able to get it everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's they haven't. I don't think they've probably I, pushed I know it it's yet. Got um, it's got a one terabyte of hard drive. It's called the, the Luna Edition. Yeah, the stand is probably sold separately. I'm like never too insane about like sort of like surface level texture work or stickers on consoles yeah. like this since my console sits in an entertainment center. This is but gorgeous. If, yeah, this one, like if you want to display it, like this is, this is really pretty. It's not like it doesn't have a giant picture of like Hulk Hogan or yeah, something on it. Yeah, this is very classy. We have the, uh, we have the Darth Vader Battlefront Edition, yeah. which it's pretty nice on the console itself, but the controller looks like it was painted by a child. It's really kind of ugly, but this has got like nice Roman yeah. numerals. It's pretty much just it's just not in your face too much. So I think it's pretty nice. Yep. That uh, then you've awesome. got a uh, kind of on the other side. You got the Gears of War. Uh, I hate my stepdad. Blood ravaged action edition. Yeah. So this uh, one, I actually, I'm not, I'm not crazy about the controller, but the console looks like really cool. Like I like the sort of movement to it. It's got this kind of like. Uh, just it looks like it survived an attack, like everything else in Gears of War does. Um, we were just saying earlier about like consoles you want to show off and ones you want to put away. I think even in your entertainment center, if you open this thing up and you're met with this giant blood red console, <laughs> it's pretty cool. The like, good news is also like you can totally just snack a bunch and use that controller, and it's not going to show. Yeah, if you, you eat know? blood. Yeah, you're games. like, oh yeah, just uh, you just get some, you know, get some marinara sauce on there or whatever. Yep. I know, what you're saying, I know what you're hitting at, Max. Yep. I do love yep. a good marinara. Yep, you do get... You, Ryan has a... <laughs> like, like many Italians, he's got just plastic coverings on all sorts of things in his oh, house, yeah. including yeah. the controllers. So, you know, there's that. I have one of those bucket hats with two thick dude jars of sauce <laughs> on each side with the straws coming out. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. This one's a little more simple. Uh, if you probably caught this a couple months ago back when Uncharted 4 was uh, released, but this is just a Nathan Drake Uncharted 4 Special Edition PS4. Uh, it's the OG PS4, which is weird calling it that yeah. now. Um, but it's it's cool looking, you know, and it's it's got I, this sort of like gray blue look to I th it. I think they frequently do these kind of special editions to use up stock before they put out like like I know Nintendo will always do this with with like 3DSs where they're like, yeah. oh hey, it's the Brits, the new the, the the 3DS regular edition, but it's you know Fire Emblem brand branded or whatever, and then like two weeks later they're like, hey, it's the new XL, and you're like, why didn't you just do it with the new one? And it's like because they want to use up those parts for the guts and put a new like logo on it. Yeah, it was also um, like when we were playing Uncharted 4, we had no idea like, if the Slim was a real thing, what the right. Neo even was. Uh, so I gotta say, now. as far as special editions go, I kind of hate this one because it's like, this is like a cool action game and I know they were kind of angling like, you know, Uncharted 4 is being like, oh, this is a very serious. This is a thief's mm -hmm. end. It's very exciting. But like, why not get him like swing on a grappling hook or something? Like I don't know. Yeah, this it's is the box art. It's yeah, that whatever. sort of like I had yeah, a they, rough day kind of. Yeah, it's theme like the, the let's uh, just put a PNG on there and talk Actually, all the day. Actually, I love the box. The box itself more than I love the PS4. All right, yeah. let's let's keep going. Uh, this one's really cool. This is the early enlisted deluxe edition for Battlefield One. It's like very muted, but also kind of special. Like I don't know. It's uh, just a very. I can't name this color. Olive drab, I guess. Yeah, yeah. like it's uh, cool. It's it, it's sort of like this very subdued World War. It reminds me of the. Thing. It reminds me of a Zune, honestly. Yeah, like they had that one. Like they had like a brown Zune, and it was just like, oh yeah, brown MP3 player. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I've actually talked to people about this who work in in like merchandising and I, I don't know dealing with. Uh, hardware manufacturers yeah. and stuff. Apparently there are like just millions of hoops to jump through in terms of making anything that deviates from the standard box. So like I would love to see something that looks like a piece of like World War One ordinance. Like if they made the, the box look like it was half canvas and half wood or so it's got you like want, rivets you want on like it. a World War One uh, I mean, if Xbox I'm gonna, One S that's yeah. basically designed the way the Pikachu N64 was. Pretty that much. That has like th a 3D sculpt. I mean, I want a case mod. Like, I yeah. would love it if it was something like, if I'm really committing to, like, if I was going to get a Gears of War Xbox, I would love it if it looked like some technology from that universe. Same yep. with Battlefield 1. Uh, I mean, Uncharted, if they just, you know, splattered some mud on there or something. Mm -hmm. But instead they're like, here's a different color and a silhouette of a man. All right, uh, so then, of course, there's just the regular vanilla. The stock white Xbox One S is, uh, like, just 
all of a sudden one of my favorite looking consoles yeah. of all time. And I looked at this in in the wild in these product shots and stuff like that, and it's one thing. But uh, Per Schneider and I thought should have thrown a picture in here. Who's uh, the founder of IGN? He has like a white entertainment center with like a really nice TV above it, and he put the Xbox One S right on top of it, and it just works so well. It's yeah. very nice. It's very minimalist. It's a far cry away from the Xbox One that I got at launch that has this giant. Yeah, box next this is to a really. It. I think this is probably the prettiest console on the market right now. Yeah, it's up there. Uh, then of course we got a uh, brand new Vitas coming out yeah, in new Japan. Vitas. Specifically, uh, all these colors have been available, but they just announced this new sort of orange red and all these the, flavors and you the silver to be one. Salty. Uh, and I've I've seen silver PSPs. Uh, silver Vita has kind of been a thing sort of for a while, but this is the new model of it. I don't it. like the silver at all. Really? Nah, I don't think you know, it's the, good. Max, the, this is, the name of the segment is our, you know, the I don't like it. looking. Not I like the red. I think hate. the red's all right. It looks like a delicious candy. I think the silver one's gorgeous. I would like the orange, but I would like to eat it.